Just give you an answer or even underline the answer there. Your DPC is the same size as your brick wall, okay? which is 220. 220 divided by 1000 is 0.22. And then you lose. Down with the DPC. Any questions so far? So far? Or not? And then from there, where are we going? We are done with the first point. Second point, they say surface bed including flow finish, right? Flow finish. And then here they did not give us the strength of our concrete, but the strength of our concrete is normally 15, like 15 MPA, unless otherwise if they say it. Because some point they might say uh, 20 MPA or 30 MPA, you get my point. But in this case they did not specify, so we take our concrete as 15 MPA. I got to place the surface bed, and surface bed is your concrete flow slab. Okay. So we are going to say 15 MPA what? 15 MPA what? Concrete materials. Okay. 15 MPA concrete in the surface bed. Okay. 15 MPA concrete in the surface bed. Concrete is measured in what? It's a volume. Length times breadth times height. Cubic meter. So now, here, what we are going to do is this. Uh, for the surface bed, remember the surface bed is what is where it is internal. Like, am I wrong? Which is from here to here, right? From here to here, right? Internal. Whereby we are going to say 6,000 uh, minus 2 of uh, 1,500. to get the 1,500. Not this 1,500. Remember, in particular, sometimes we don't get any opinion while we start. We're going to deduct after to make provision, right? So, what we are going to subtract is the 220 because the, our surface bed is inside the house. Like, your surface bed, remember, is from here to here. Do you get my point? It's from here to here. Do you get my point? So, now what we want, we want to know and how long it, it is from here to here. Do you get my point? Whereby we have to minus this 220 and this 220 from the 6,000. Do you get my point? And then we minus this 220 and this 220 from the 3,000. So we are going to say 6,000 minus 2 of 220, right? And then 3,000 minus 2 of 220, right? Whereby the first one is going to be 5,560. Here is going to be 2,560. Right? Then this is the length, this is the breadth, okay? Length, breadth of your surface bed. Remember the surface bed is internal, okay? Which is from here to here, right? So this one is going to be 5.56 after divided by 1000, okay? Which is the length, 5.56, okay? And then the breadth is going to be 2.56. And then the height of our surface bed, yeah? Mm -hmm. No, center, not center line. You check the sketch or the specification. Height of the surface bed is from here to here. Surface bed, do you get my point? Which is 75. And it is also given on the specification as well. They said uh, 75 millimeter surface bed on the specification. You see it? Mm -hmm. I got on the sketch is this one. On the sketch is this one. And then on the specification it's here. 75 millimeter surface bed. Do you get my point? So then which is the height of our Surface bed is 75. Okay? 75 divided by 1000 is going to be 0 0.075. Okay? And then we send on the dimension here, we only want two numbers after the call, okay? which is going to be 0 0.08. Do you agree? Then 0 0.08. Okay? You close, we are done. Am I wrong? So far, so good. Or so far, you don't understand something. Then from there, when we move from the surface bed, we should have the flow finish. When by on the specification they said 90 millimeter granulated flow finish, right? On the specification, and then we know my page one is done, it's full. Okay? I'm going to page two. Then I'm saying 90 millimeter grano flow finish. 
Remember, we use abbreviations in what you said. In order to save time and space. So 90 millimeter granular flow finish. Our flow finish is measured in what? Meter square, like, which is length times breadth. Like, and then the length of our flow finish would be the same as this one. And then the, uh, the breadth, this one. Because the flow finish is just going to be this part and this part. Like, the internal part. Like, whereby we know the length is going to be 5,560, which is 6,000 minus 2 of 220. Like, and then the breadth is going to be 2,560, which is 3,000 minus 220, 220. Like, so here we are going to have 5.56 and then 2.56. Then we close. Any question? Run that. Show, show. Then from the ground floor finish, where are we going? Are we having a sketchy on the specification? Hmm. Whereby they said it's what? Yeah, then we have the 75, 75 millimeter ground floor sketching. Seventy-five millimeter granule sketchy. Okay. Okay. Sketching is measured in meters. Okay. Our sketching is measured in meters. Okay. Whereby we are going to say this one okay. plus this one plus this one plus this one because our sketching is internal. Okay. So we cannot use the six thousand. Okay. Whereby we still use the 5560, right? Which is going to be 2 of 5560, five, because it's going to be this one and this one, like right? Plus 2 of 2560, which is this one and this one. You get my point? Which is an internal perimeter. You get it? And then you tell me how much it is. Sixteen thousand two hundred and forty, right? Which is going to be sixteen point two four when you divide it by thousand. Like it's going to be sixteen point two four. It is in meter only one, you see it. And then from there, we close our sketching. We are done. Like so check description, waste calculation, right? You should always show your waste calculation. Like Description, waste calculation, dimension. Right? Then from there, if we check from the sketching, are we done with our flow finish? I guess they said brick walls, is, uh, brick, surface bed including flow finish. Surface bed including flow finish. If we are dealing with this, uh, we are done based on the specification. Is, is there anything that is missing that is part of the flow finish there or the specification? Then we are done. Okay? We go to number three where they say brick walls. Okay? And then when they say brick walls, if we check your brick wall, there is one brick wall. Okay? On the specification, did they give you anything? Okay, on the specification, they did not mention your brick wall. But when you check the size of your brick wall, they said from here to here is 220. From here to here is 220, okay? which is one brick wall. 220 is one brick wall. Okay? So we open, we say one brick wall, and then what did they say? They, did they say anything about the ratio? They did not say anything about the ratio, they just said brick wall built in stretch upon. Right? So we say one brick wall in, in one is two, four cement mortar mix, right? built in. ST, which is ratio bond, right? You should always indicate the ratio there. One is two for one, or sometimes it's one is two three. You should always check the specification. You get my point? Yes, if they did not give you the ratio in the specification, you can say one is two four, you can say one is two three. But if they give you directly on the specification, you should indicate whatever that is given, right? And then our brick is measured in what? Our brick wall is measured in meter squared. So our brick wall is measured in meter squared, right? 
and then if you check there, the length of your brick wall will be your it is calculated under connections. It is calculated under connections. The length of your brick wall is going to be your center line, like which is 17.12. 17,120, yeah? which is the length of our brick wall. And then the height of our brick wall we are going to have, if you check there, they gave you 2.5 there on the sketch, right? Whereby you have 2,500, right? And then the 2,500, what do you do there? You have to add the 75 because they said, they said take off the quantities of the following item in the superstructure from below the surface page. But if you check the 2.5 there, it does not cover the surface page. Do you see it? It is on top of the surface page and then they set from below the surface page, which means you should add that 75 of the surface page. Do you get it? Which is going to be 2575. That will be the height. Right? And then when you divide this one by 1000, it's going to be 2.575, okay? which is, we want to two decimals, okay? which is going to be 2.58. Am I wrong? It's 2.58. And then from there, what do we do? You close. And then, is there anything that we did not do based on the brick wall? Based on the brick wall, remember, we are not done on the brick wall. After building, we have to plaster, okay? we have to paint, okay? and then, did they say anything about external there? External finish, did they say anything there on the, okay, they say first brick external, okay? and then internal is fair face, okay? we only plaster internal, outside is face brick. Okay? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you time to write this and then I erase this side so that I can go on. You get my point? Okay, now, uh, okay, yes, it is. Okay, then now we, 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 we finish with one brick wall, okay? and then we go for, uh, for plastering. Okay? I say ICP on walls, which is internal cement plaster on walls. Okay? So we have to plaster our wall. Okay? So when we plaster our wall, what are we going to have there? The length of our plaster would be the same as the one for the sketching. Why do I say so? Because we are going to plaster here, which is the internal perimeter, which is this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay? Whereby we said it's what? 16,240. Okay? Whereby the length will be 16.24. Right? But now, Chair, already we've got our sketching. Okay? Already we completed our sketching, which means now when we plaster, okay? We have to say from the 2575, whereby we added the 75. Okay? That 75 was what? Was for the surface bed. Okay? And then now, when we come to the surface bed, already when we come to the surface bed, we don't have that 75. Okay? Which means we still left with, we left with what? We have this 2.5 from here to here. Okay? From here to here. Okay? Whereby we have 2500. Okay? 2500, this one, when you check it, it covers your sketching. Am I wrong? So now our sketching is there already. Okay? We have our sketching already. Okay? Which means from this one we must subtract the 75 of the sketching. Right? Which is going to be 2425. 
Am I wrong? So we left 32,435. Then the height of our plaster now is going to be 2.43. Am I wrong? Because when you say this one divided by those is going to be 2.425. And then we said we want two decimal structure in common. This one is 5. I can push it and 1. That's why we have 2.43. Make sense? Not so far. And then from here, what do we do? After clustering, we say end. Okay? We end. This, this thing I said is two code. Okay? This thing I said is it's two code. Okay? Two codes of paint. Okay? They said our paint is what they, they just said paint. They just they said two codes quality PVA on ceiling cornice and walls. Okay? So we say two codes. Okay? PVA paint on walls and then we close. Do you get it? So we came by we clustered after clustering we applied our paint which is first coat and second coat. That's why we say two coat. The first one is water paint. Right? The second one is a normal one. And then the, from there after we have applied our paint, what is missing on our brick wall? If you check, we did everything inside, right? but we did not go outside. Why by outside they said it's a face brick? Am I wrong? So we go out, right? which is E O B external over brick or external. It's an external over brick, right? It's an external over brick form. External faces. External over brick form. External faces. Okay. And then outside, the length of our wall here outside is going to be our perimeter, the external one. Because it's going to be this one plus this one plus this one plus this one, right? Whereby we said. 2 of 6,000 plus 2 of 3,000 it gave us 18,000 right? which is going to be 18, 18.00 right? which is the length we are still under brickwork brickwork is a measure in meter squared right? so we have that one and then the length is going to be the height is going to be the one that we just calculated remember you came by somewhere you said 2.5 plus 75 for the surface bit right? I think the surface break is internal, but outside it's a break. Okay. Outside it's breaks. Okay. Inside you've got the surface bed, but outside is the breaks. Okay. But they said from below the surface bed, which means we have to start on the same thing. I think we have something like this. And then this is our surface bed. They said you should, you should do your take off from below the surface bed. Okay. Which means you should also outside you should start here, right? Whereby you roll from here. To the upper part there, they said it's 2,500. Right? But now they since they said from below, which means you should add the 75, which is what we did already. Right? We said 75 and we found out it was 2575, right? which is going to be 2.58. 2.58. Outside we don't plaster, we don't paint. It's a face break. So that's short short. The 2575, you understand it. The 18,000 of yards. I guess this side plus this side plus this side plus this side, which is 6,000 plus 12,000, it's 18,000. And then from there, what is missing there on our wall? Next, our walls we are done. Okay? And then where are we going? External face brick, we are done. I guess they said brick walls. We did brick walls. And then internal wall plaster, which is this ICP, okay? we did. Okay? And they say external face brick, which is this, we did. Okay? What's missing now? Six, which is the ceilings. Right? We go and do our ceiling and then we are done. This one is the simplest one. If you fail to get this one, you are dead. So, on our ceiling, they said our, board, our ceiling board is what? Six millimeter right of board. Okay? And then I'll come back. Let me just wait here so that I can have enough space. I say six millimeter rhino board. 
ceiling. Okay. And then my ceiling, it is supported by what? Remember before I can do my ceiling, I should give the support structure when I use the brother I so you still remember. And 38 by 38 millimeter brandarins. And what else there? They, they said something about eight section cover strip there. Do you see it on the specification? Do you even know what is an eight section cover strip? Board on our ceiling. Again, if you've seen a, a ceiling before, we've got the boards. Again, but when our boards join, we use this small steel here there, where it's like this. Something like this. Something like this. You never saw something like this before. Whereby we have the other board this side, the other board this side, and then this one joins our board. Does that like what? On a ceiling. Ah, you are not so much much as you are lying. Ever seen where there is a ceiling before, or where there is a ceiling before, or you know, you know that uh, one way by the the ceiling tiles already. On a ceiling, on a ceiling. I can remember. We've got some boards. I can remember the board just like that. I can. How do we join this board on top then? There is something which is a steel here. Like the first board comes this side, the other one comes this side. Like which is what we call a cover screen. Like an insertion cover screen. Which is this thing. Do you get my point? This board will be this side and then this one will be this side. They join by this. Do you get my point? Which is a cover screen. Insertion cover screen. As you can see, it's an H. Like an insertion cover screen. So it's this. And then we add a what? We add a section cover straight. And then and we add something again. We paint our ceiling board, you know, like ceiling board, red paint, like we paint them, like we have two coats, PVA, paint. On board, we paint our board, like our ceiling board. That's why normally you find out where they see You find out that ceiling is white. They did what? They apply their paint there, right? And then from there we are done. What we should do is the measurement. Like your ceiling, it's where it is internal. Like whereby from here to here, we said this is five thousand five hundred and sixty. You still remember? Remember we said six thousand minus two of two twenty. Like we left 5560, which is from here to here, will be the length of your ceiling. And then the breadth of your ceiling will be 2560, and your ceiling is measured in meter squared. So you have 5.56 and then 2.56, then you close. Length, breadth, meter squared. Any question? And then from there, we are done with our board. Right? What's missing there? Cornice. Why by they said our cornice is how much? 75. Okay. Then we say 75 millimeter cornice. Okay. And then and our cornice also we paint it. Okay. We apply our paint on our cornice. Okay. We say two coat, two coat PVA paint on Cornice. Like this. Our cornice is the same as our sketching. Our cornice is measured in meters. It's going to be from here, plus here, plus here, plus here, which is our sketching. Our sketching is said it was 16,240, am I wrong? Which is going to be 16, where am I? 16.24, alright? And then what's missing now from the ceiling part? We have everything, right? Now, one, two, end of dimension. Good night. Any question? We are done just like that. That was also the structure we got. Just like this. Was it difficult? Straightforward, right? You know we want everything. Thank you.